I want to welcome you back to Black Sight. And tonight, we're going to talk about the Great Depression of 2020. Tonight was an ominous day when oil prices for the first time in history sold at negative dollars. That tells you that we are in the Great Depression. And it also tells you that the economy is at a standstill around the world. See, when oil prices are up, that means economies are booming. That means goods and services are being sold. But now, you have countries having to pay people to store the oil. You have the United States government buying oil and putting it in their strategic petroleum reserves. Because oil is so cheap right now. And I'm telling many of you out there right now that this thing is going to get bad. This is why President Trump is so fiercely trying to get America back to work. Because if you don't get back to work right now, in a couple of months, we may be talking about a depression for five, six, seven years. Remember, the economy to some people was rolling. 3.5% unemployment, most of you will say it's much higher. But at that particular time, before we shut down the economy, all metrics had the United States economy chugging along as the first or second best economy in the world. Now we are in a position to where the government, and I'm talking about many governments and states across the country, may not survive. You're going to see oil companies for the first time go bankrupt and may need a bailout. <clears throat> and many of you going to say, well, we can't give them a bailout. But most people don't understand that you know that pension funds all across the country are invested in some of your major oil companies and they diversify the way they feed their pensions. So you're going to have pensions collapsing. You're going to have so many things at one time collapsing in America if this stay-at-home order goes to June, July, August. This economy cannot take it at all. So this is why, like I told you earlier, you're going to see certain segments in the market. You're starting to see retail stores go bankrupt. Neiman Marcus is going bankrupt. You're going to see more and more J.C. Penney's possibly go bankrupt because of this stay-at-home order in this pandemic. This pandemic is going to put America back to the point to where we're, we're going to become a second-rate nation. What I'm talking about, China will survive. Another country that will get stronger is Russia. Because most of those countries did something that the United States hasn't done. They have a reserve full of gold. Most of those countries' dollars is backed by gold. So the wine is backed by gold. The Russian dollar is backed by gold. And people are going to get tired of taking in American dollars. Right now, you see the American dollar as a fiat currency. It's turning into the German Weimar. And most of you will say, what is that? Well, in the 1920s, the German dollar was worth nothing. You need a billion dollars just to buy a loaf of bread in German dollars. And most of these countries may want to replace the American dollar after this pandemic. Which will set America back once again. When you see all these companies go out of business, there's going to be a chain reaction. 
amongst the supply chain. If the oil companies lay off, they go bankrupt, you're going to see certain parts of their subtracting industry with the oil markets go bankrupt. So we're going to have a tremendous problem with unemployment because of the coronavirus. Now, we have people saying we can't go back, we can't do anything. If we don't do anything, the consequences are going to be great. And people are going to have to deal with us going to 10% unemployment even more. Chronic unemployment. And when you have that, you have more problems. Higher crime. More domestic violence. So this whole thing right here, with this upcoming Great Depression, well, we might be in it right now. Because you look at the stats. 22 million jobless claims. That's going to go up even more. You see in people's, every part of their lives is being hurt. Small businesses, even though they're getting paycheck protection, are going to eventually collapse. You're going to see industries that you never thought of collapse because you have certain industries like AMC movie theaters. Who's going to want to go to a movie theater? A lot of the entertainment industry is going to be hurt because you won't be able to put on concerts. See, this whole thing is going to have a ripple effect on this economy. And the only way we can do it is bail out companies, put most people on universal basic income. Will that be the next thing we'll deal with to where we will have to give people $1,500, $2,000 a month? Because they would have lost their jobs and companies will have closed because of this pandemic. It's going to get bad out here. Then you're going to have a new administration coming in. Joe Biden. We haven't heard his plan. He's going to have to deal with this situation. Now we have a choice. Even though we ride this out. And when we come out the backside. It's going to be even worse. Because you won't have a job. Or do we take a chance and end the stay at home? We got a lot of governors saying it's not going to happen. So they're going to have to deal with chronic unemployment. You see Texas trying to get back into the thing. Texas probably has the strongest economy in the, in the country, if not the world. You see Georgia is coming back. Florida is coming back. Because they know the metrics say, if you don't get this thing back, and you don't get that engine revving again, not only is the residents of your state going to be unemployed, your state is going to be in mass confusion. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel, smash that like button, and share this video.